Martinsburg at 70. Ocean City right now this hour checking in at 73 degrees. Now across the area we had some showers and storms earlier. Some were a little heftier and even had some rotation in some of those. Right now just a few lingering showers, sprinkles out there through the overnight. And I do think we'll see maybe a little bit of fog start to settle in as we head through later this evening. Futurecast taking you through time here. And here we are Sunday morning, low 70s, some clouds, maybe a little bit of fog, maybe a stray shower or sprinkle in the morning uh, as we start the day off. But then through the afternoon, partly sunny, hot and humid, upper 80s to near 90. But through the afternoon, a few showers and thunderstorms may fire off as frontal system pushes through. I think they're very isolated. We're not under an elevated risk tomorrow, but a couple of heftier showers could push through into the early evening. So keep that in mind tomorrow night. By the time we get into Monday, the winds will shift to the north. Drier air will move in. We'll be back in the low to mid 80s, more seasonable but with low, lower humidity. It's just going to feel nicer for Monday, even into Tuesday. Low humidity and refreshing air will take over. So it's going to be pretty pleasant out there, but not tomorrow. Overnight, these showers taper off some fog, warm and muggy, near 90, a couple of afternoon storms through the day for your Sunday. Just keep that in mind. You may have to duck inside, but I wouldn't make any changes or cancellations to plans. And if you're heading to the shore, Del Marva, tomorrow, temperatures mid 80s, a very hit or miss afternoon storm. Water temperature just looked over in Ocean City right now, up to 72 degrees. So the water is warmer, the air will be warmer, more humidity. Good day to hit the shore. Just don't forget to slather on your SPF. Now, as far as our temperatures, they are backing down a bit for Monday. 85, the average is 86. You can see we start to tick those numbers down a bit by Tuesday, lower 80s, probably the best day with the low humidity. Really, Tuesday could be one of our best feeling days around here. And then through the middle and latter half of the week, more heat will bubble up, more humidity will bubble up. And through the latter half of the week, that will start feeling more summer like again as that heat and humidity builds. And with the introduction of more heat and humidity, some storm chances. So we'll watch for a few storms tomorrow. Bo beautiful to gorgeous Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, some storms into the evening on Thursday, maybe a few afternoon storms with the next little system passing through Friday and Saturday, just downright hot temperatures by the end of next week and next weekend for the first, uh, rather the second weekend of summertime, I should say, rather. It will be hot, very summer like, low to mid 90s, likely by next weekend. So Bring in the heat. On. Yeah. Yeah, well, I think lots of people are pool ready by now. They are. They are plastic splashing around. Or were they pool bringing ready. the heat at Nats Park? No, they were not, Brian. <laughs> they did not, okay? Nats and Phillies, and things were nice early in this game, but then things happened, and other things happened. That's where we'll leave it. Game two, that's coming up next in sports. It's the final lap of the Sheehy 8000. The Mid-Atlantic's biggest sales event is approaching the July 5th finish line. It's your last chance to save on thousands of new vehicles. There's no better time to buy. Hurry, the Sheehy 8000 is almost over. In the last four days of the Joseph A. Bank lowest prices of the season event, save up to 85% store-wide. Find suits 179, sport coats 139, dress shirts and sport shirts 29, plus casual pants 39. The lowest prices of the season event, only at Joseph A. Bank. We know our customers have busy lives. That's why we're working hard to improve our customer service. Now we offer two hour appointment windows, including nights and weekends, and an automatic $20 credit if we're ever late. So whatever your schedule, we can work around it. I'm Damon from Comcast. We should fit into your life, not the other way around. TriStar Realty has helped thousands move in and out of the DMV area. Whether you're looking for a home in the beautiful hillsides of Pennsylvania, along the shore of Maryland, even near the heartbeat of our nation's capital, among the slices of life in Virginia, discover your next home with TriStar Realty and see how you can receive cash back on your home purchase. TriStar Realty, everything we touch turns sold. Visit MyTriStar.com. In the last four days of the Joseph A. Bank lowest prices of the season event, save up to 85% store-wide. Find suits 179, sport coats 139, dress shirts and sport shirts 29, plus casual pants 39. The lowest prices of the season event, only at Joseph A. Bank. It's the final lap of the Sheehy 8000. The Mid-Atlantic's biggest sales event is approaching the July 5th finish line. Get 125% of KBB value. Sheehy's donating to the American Heart Association for every car sold. It's easy. And now, the Toyota Sports Desk, brought to you by your local Toyota dealers.
Nats and Phillies game two of their three game series. Good guys looking for a bounce back after an ugly 12 to two loss Friday. Back to Nats Park we go and there were off to a nice start. Bottom of the first two on for Daniel Murphy. He gets one to go through. Anthony Rendon and Juan Soto would come around to score. Nats would take a two nothing lead. But the Phillies would string together hits in the top of the second. Pitcher Aaron Nolan with a seeing eye single to right. Mikel Franco comes around, just beats the throw home. That was close, so the game is tied after that. Then in the eighth inning, Carlos Santana goes the opposite way. It's over the fence. The Phillies hang on to win this one, the final five to three. O's in ATL in Atlanta after Manny Machado won the game in extras last night. Mark Trumbo keeps the good bats going. First inning, the grand slam just over the center field fence. That would make it 4 nothing. O's going to win this one, the final seven to five. Well, a busy weekend for the Capitals, not only.